congratulations on your recent publication of polymer chemistry. What was the most significant aspect of your work? So the main part of the work which we're trying to demonstrate is that uh, proteins found in natural fish, especially occurring in uh, fish species, which stop them from dying under really cold conditions, how we can somehow use synthetic polymers, which are a bit easier to make and a lot cheaper, how we can use those to mimic the properties of these fish and then hopefully uh, try to demonstrate the applications that they might have in the field. What was the reason for doing this work? The main inspiration for doing it is simply because <clears throat> uh, mimicking the protein structure is actually quite challenging in most cases. But uh, there's a lot of previous work by people showing the very, very simple structures to mimic things. <clears throat> and also the fact that uh, if we translate this into polymers, we're not just doing fundamental research, we really translate it into applications which might have real benefits. So, what do you think the impact will be? I feel in the future the main impact will be just low cost improvements. Uh, in cryo storage of organs, eventually. So at the moment, you can't preserve organs uh, very efficiently um, by freezing methods, as the methods use, uh, use rather toxic chemicals, which, if you add to the organs, they essentially die and uh, you can't use them for transplant. And if we can use these uh, antifreeze mimics to improve the cryo storage of these organs, we hope we might be able to uh, really make an impact on healthcare. I think the best and most inspirational I've seen was by Dennis Disher, showing how the structure of self-assembled macromolecules can really influence how they interact with cellular systems. And really looking at it from a basic fundamental physical chemistry point of view, was applying it to a real cellular system. And it was really inspirational, by far the best talk. And what's your favourite thing about polymer chemistry, the journal? I think the best thing about polymer chemistry is the fact that it brings together an awful lot of fields of the polymer chemistry so we can really see the biological applications of polymers, but also the basic synthetic procedures used to make these polymers. And by having them all together, you can essentially have a one stop shop for all your different uh, needs as a polymer scientist. I find it's really helpful. Great, thanks very much.